Good morning from the Alton Towers Resort where you're watching Theme Park Worldwide and today we're doing a full park vlog. We're going to head round, bring you all the latest updates from across the park and of course get back on some of our favourite rides as well. Oh, I'm hoping it's not too busy today for us. Yeah, hopefully it's going to be okay. However, it is a weekend but over these next couple of weeks it's normally quieter on a weekend than it is in the week and that's because of school's weeks, isn't oh, it? Oh, it just gets so busy. Yeah, it does. Like Monday to Friday, the next couple of weeks will be very busy with school trips. So you're actually best coming on a weekend. It's a Sunday today, and generally Sundays are quieter than they Saturdays are. anyway. And that's the thing now, we're into the main summer run. Park hours are 10 a.m. through until six o'clock now, all the way through until the end of the summer holidays, of course, uh, which is fantastic. But uh, yeah, come and join us here at Alton Towers as we bring you all those latest updates. And of course, as always throughout the vlog, we'll share lots of tips for if you're visiting Alton Towers over the summer period. We are down here at the main entrance, and as much as the rides don't open until 10 o'clock, they actually open the turnstiles just after nine, so it's definitely worth arriving early, getting parked up, and coming down here to the entrance. And just made our way in there through the main entrance turnstiles, and of course greeted by that awesome view of Tower Street and the gorgeous Towers Ruins down there at the bottom as well. And yeah, we've got loads of updates to share with you today, including some changes inside the Curse at Alton Manor. And firstly, we've got something new up here, haven't we? Yeah, we've got some free sun cream, which is really good with how hot it's been. Yeah, free SPF 30 sun cream available. You can see that on the side. And this very nice premium sign, look at this. There we go, it's actually embossed. I can't believe it. There you go, Tower Street sun cream, free for all guests. I wonder if there's a few of these around the park. But yeah, this is quite nice up here at the top. Little bonus for if you're visiting over the summer. No, oh, it's nice to be back here, you know, at our home park. And of course, we had an amazing time over on the USA road trip. And check out the playlist full of all the different vlogs if you haven't already seen it. But of course, Alton Towers is really special for its gorgeous location and the towers ruins themselves just over there as well. And of course, last time we were here at our home park, it was still Mardi Gras ongoing. So yeah, all that's packed up now. All this is opened up again. Perfect for a picnic in the summer. Bring a picnic blanket, chill out just over here bring some food up and it's really nice just chilling out here on the lawns and normally it'd be nice to chill out up in the towers as well but unfortunately even though we're in July they're still closed they're yet to have opened once this year for walking round. and of course uh, the same goes for Hex it was operating at the start of the season and then it's been closed ever since and yeah we've got no further updates really from Hex uh, there was a few rumors that it was close to reopening and then nothing happened which is such a shame um, because Hex is a beautiful attraction and of course the queue line and pre-shows run through the towers and then the actual ride building is built at the back of the towers um, in a large show building just there but so uh, yeah it's really nice just to come back to the local and to appreciate its beauty especially with the blue sky behind just there as well but yeah in terms of the next event it will be Oktoberfest um, so yeah in terms of what they're doing over summer I'd imagine there's going to be stage shows again uh, but we'll talk more about that later on and there it is a vault seal for two centuries and half of the 2023 season hex the legend of the towers doors still closed up there fingers crossed He'll open again soon, I really hope so, because we are missing Hex so much, aren't we? Oh, I miss Hex so much, I absolutely love it. I've really missed it, I really hope it opens soon. It's one of our favourites in the it park, is, isn't it? It's fantastic. Did you nearly trip then? I know, I was, yeah. trying, to... <laughs> I was trying to start it <laughs> well, We're making our way down into Dark Forest. Normally the best place to start your day at Alton Towers for lower queues. Everybody heads straight for the Smiler and also Wicker Man. So yeah, head down to Dark Forest. Go and have a ride on 13, I think. This is why in our vlogs we always say start down in Dark Forest. 10 minute wait for Rita, and that's on a Sunday in July. And just down here we've got 13, which looks pretty quiet too. And here we go, 15 minute wait for 13 here in the Dark Forest. 13 years old this year. We've been waiting about five minutes then so far for 13. Yeah, about five minutes till we get on. I can't believe they're not fixed this. Look at the state that the station's in just there. That uh, looks awful. All they need to do is just replace this here. You can just see all the station just falling to bits at the side. Not good.
I tell you what, 13 is an excellent family coaster. We waited less than 10 minutes for it. And it's a great ride, running three trains, great operations on there this morning. And along with that, it's only got a 1.2 meter tall height restriction, which is perfect for families, isn't it? Oh, that's just absolutely fantastic. It was so strange getting back on 13, going down the drop. We have done such big coasters with huge drops. It felt really weird <laughs> yeah. going down the drop on there for some reason. I think that's the thing on the US trip, you get used to going on some yeah, massive yeah. rides, don't you? And then you go on something like 13 with the first drop. Uh, it doesn't feel that big, does quite it? Quite small compared to what we've been on. Quite, quite surreal, isn't it? That is what makes Alton Towers special, though. It is the location of the park, and that's why they've built some very unique rides here in the past. And like the drop track there on 13, it was the first one of those. Uh, fantastic. <laughs> I do love that. Like, I do love the drop track. And like, obviously, we went on for Bolton recently at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. That's built by Zera. Nowhere near as forceful as that. No, the, the forcefulness on the drop track in there is crazy. I, it gets my stomach every time. <laughs> I tell you what, though, it does need some TLC. I feel like Alton Towers think they can get away with it because of the theme. Obviously, it's based around this kind of construction going on on this big castle. Um, but yeah, with all the scaffolding, it looks terrible around there now. It was never intended to look like that. There's bits falling off. And when you're actually on the ride itself, you look over at the side, all ripped, all the tarpaulin on the side. It needs some big TLC this winter. Well, you know what, Charlotte? We didn't get to ride King Dakar or Top Fuel Dragster during our trip, but Rita always delivers for you. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> 15 minute wait here for Rita. Yeah, one of the weaker hydraulic launch coasters. However, I do still love these with the hydraulic cable launch. Not loads of these around now, and they do seem to be having issues. And I tell you what, that makes you think, what is the future for Rita here at Alton Towers and also Stealth at Thorpe Park? We want Maverick. <laughs> we want Maverick. Worth pointing out, they've actually got all the extended queues open at the moment, even though it's not too busy with it being a Sunday today. Obviously in the week, with it being the school trips, uh, then yeah, it gets very busy. So obviously they've just left all these open for now. But so uh, yeah, you got a bit of extra, extra exercise in Alton Towers at the moment, walking around all of this. <laughs> <laughs> waited 15 minutes as advertised there for our ride over on Rita and yeah I've got to say operations on the two rides we've done so far have been fantastic we've been getting the train sent out really quickly uh, which is really good to see both trains of course on Rita three over there on 13 yeah great operations how was your ride Charlotte? See I like Rita with the launch but then I find it a bit rough but because we sat towards the front it wasn't too bad at all yeah row back, three I find it quite rough yeah it can get a bit jolty near I the back I love the launch on Rita it's fantastic yeah it is a great launch Launch, it takes like, you by surprise, doesn't it? Yeah, it's the rest of the layout on there that's nothing spectacular. I do think out of the bigger coasters, it may end up being the first one to go. And that's probably um, because of the kind of replacements now. You don't see the accelerator coasters much more now. Um, they're being replaced with LSMs, aren't yeah, they now? Yeah, they are a lot more, aren't they? Yeah, so it'd be interesting to see um, what happens in the future for Rita and, of course, Stealth too. Uh, anyway, it's got a bit of an update for you on the Skyride. Of course, it's not operated once yet this year, which is a shame, especially from an accessibility point of view of uh, people getting around the park uh, because Alton Towers is huge it's 500 acres and uh, yeah it's not great really having the sky ride down however uh, there were some pictures a couple of weeks ago of some tests taking place uh, I know a couple of people who've been getting trained on there recently so hopefully fingers crossed maybe for time for the summer holidays in a couple of weeks I really hope so I think for me I think Alton Towers should have been a bit more open and been more honest and said look the sky ride's not open at the moment for people who do come and don't realise that it's closed yeah that's the thing from an accessibility it's point of view open. and also just for saving your legs isn't it when you're walking around you know uh, it's a massive park and yeah just you can take it a, a time it can take 15 20 minutes to walk from here over to like forbidden valley can't it yeah so hopefully they can get this back up soon like i say it has been testing there's been some staff training taking place maybe um, in time for the summer holidays but still it should have been available all year really just before we head through the world of David Walliams and have a walk through there, I just wanted to talk a little bit about Secret Weapon 9, Project Horizon of course. Uh, there's been no further updates yet, however planning permission was accepted and yeah this will be the entrance uh, for when that opens in 2025 and of course there'll be a pathway here uh, that will lead down to the huge show building for the new indoor roller coaster. But yeah very exciting and yeah we cannot wait for that. Oh, we 
are so excited. Like, this is exactly what Alton Towers needs, and we just cannot wait for it. Indoor roller coaster. Oh, I'm so like, excited. It's going to be great. Yeah, down there at the back. Of course, construction updates are going to be quite limited for that because it's going to be really hidden um, down the back there. It's not part of the world of David Williams. It will be a separate area um, built right at the back of those trees. At the moment, that's like a storage area. However, I believe a lot of that's been cleared. I've heard rumors that back of house area could be moving to behind Alton Manor and then it will free up the space for construction to start. So maybe later this year we'll start hearing a bit more. But yeah, nothing at the moment. Of course, you've got the carousel down here. Flavio still going. Of course, one of the temporary rides. This looks the best out of the four though, because of course, steamed into the area. I like how the staff members got a nice Alton Towers brolly just there as well. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice and warm. A funny sign? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's go and have a look at this funny sign then. Raj's shop just outside. It is a nice family area. I still think they missed the mark with the IP. I would love to have an original attraction. But still, you know, it is nice how, you know, this area opened up again. Get your socks for your crops. Hey! I like that. And you've got some new crops. I know, I bought some. <laughs> I like how they'll be changing them. Yeah, it would have been nice if they went for an original theme of this area it just seems like the popularity is just not quite there now i mean gangster granny was getting massive weights wasn't it now it's on like 10 minutes um but still i mean that's a good thing really that you can get on more rides but i would have preferred original theme like for this a non-ip based ride yeah definitely especially with cbb's being the kind of big ip down at the other side of the park but still it's a nice area it's good to see it back open yeah you know, i think there was a couple of years when this was fully closed off so i do appreciate that they open this up again and it's colorful and it's got some extra capacity which the park needs and of course you've got the driving school just down here as well the cuckoo cars driving school of course a nod to the old name of the themed area when it was cloud cuckoo land my favorite when i was a kid cloud cuckoo awesome. land oh the driving yeah, school yeah, driving school what a ride so we're making our way now round to X Actor, of course, for Oblivion and the Smiler. And yeah, again, just wanted to give you a bit of an update on the Towers Ruins. It's such a shame how they're still closed off. Of course, normally this would be the exit to Hex, the legend of the Towers as well, that's also closed. But what I really don't understand is why we can't even sit down in the Ladyship's Gardens. This barrier has been here for quite a few months now. And it's all closed off, like, it's gorgeous around there. And obviously we bring a picnic now instead of buying the food here. And yeah, we sit round here at the side, have a picnic, it used to be lovely. Um, but yeah, you can't do that anymore i mean there's loads of other nice picnic places but this was one of my favorite spots around here looking at the chapel looking at the towers and yeah just all buried off still which is a shame i really just don't get why it's taking so long to get them back open or like you said yeah. can't you just, just, just open this up like you know i really don't understand it yeah there's some weird decisions going on with the towers at the moment i really wish that heritage and the whole restoration was a big focus again it just doesn't feel like that way at the moment i really hope that changes but of course we can still appreciate the beauty of the towers here from the front and yeah i've been hearing a couple of rumblings lately about a potential project that could be happening with the towers and maybe the end of scare mazes actually being inside the ruins so that'll be interesting to see um i mean yeah i don't know what they could have planned i mean i love what warwick castle do in terms of uh, they restore a lot of the rooms you can walk around them you can actually sleep inside warwick castle so i'm not too sure but uh yeah there's a few rumblings at the moment about potential projects for the towers so that's a good sign in my opinion uh, there's clearly something going on behind the scenes but in the meantime it would be nice of course if we could just walk around and even appreciate this beautiful new banquet and hall window and um, that was completely restored a couple of years ago spent a lot of time and money doing that and i'd love to see it um open from the inside just so people can appreciate that because uh, it's gorgeous standing up there looking down it's actually one of my favorite things to do here in the summer uh, i know a lot of people actually obviously when i used to work here i used to chat to people on the turnstiles uh, and people would just come down and have a stroll around through the towers you know it was a big part of the experience so hopefully they can uh, return to that at some point in the future but yeah we'll keep you updated but like i said i'm hearing a few kind of rumblings at the moment about a possible project in there so it'll be interesting to see well, we're going to head into X Sector, but Oblivion's on a 45 minute wait and the Smiler's closed at the moment. I think everybody, when the Smiler closed, must have left and joined Oblivion's queue. So I looked about 15, 20 minutes ago and it was only showing us 10 for Oblivion. So we'll head down there later. We'll go over towards Wickerman. It said 35 just on the app. And yeah, it's quite a good time to hit it up actually over lunchtime. Yeah, you've got the little spire bar just down here. That stayed from Mardi Gras. And yeah, they've kept that down here. So if you want to grab an alcoholic beverage and sit down here and enjoy the view, you can do and come and see George just over oh, here George. as well. The nice geese down here. Oh, look at the baby ducks. <laughs> it's always nice seeing the oh, geese. Look at the baby ducks. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? Here's George. <laughs> 
Might as well look at the stage actually whilst we're around here. Let's see what they're doing. So of course down here on the front lawns you've got the big stage and yeah unfortunately it's not being used yet this year for any live entertainment which I find crazy. I mean the fact they've got this here um, it just looks a bit of a mess without any set design on there as well. I mean they could have at least had a set built up on there in my opinion instead of just having all the Harris fencing out the front. However they have took some fencing down from the back so maybe um, they're going to be setting up soon ready for shows but still uh, it's been like this since March and yeah it just seems like a bit of a wasted opportunity doesn't it really? It's a bit bizarre to have a massive stage and then just know it entertainment on there at all even yeah. if it's just a singer or something. I'm also surprised they don't use it for Mardi Gras to be honest. I mean they do use it of course for Oktoberfest, it's the main hub and also Scarefest they have entertainment on. Um, but yeah like earlier in the year nothing's happening. I mean at this time last year the shows had started by now. It was like a Sir Algernon themed character show, um, a couple of different bits on there. But yeah nothing started yet but yeah hopefully there'll be some entertainment on here again soon. It just looks a bit messy having nothing on. So yeah, we're making our way over to Wicker Man, which of course is the park's 2018 GCI wooden roller coaster. Can't believe already it's six years old, Wicker Man. Oh, I absolutely love Wicker Man. I've got such a soft spot for it. When we was on the USA road trip, we did a lot of GCI coasters, some fantastic rides out there, and of course, some much bigger and better than Wicker Man. However, I still think Wicker was a great addition for this park. I completely agree. We love it. It's absolutely brilliant ride. It's advertised at 35 minutes now as well, which for a Sunday in July, not bad at all. Probably running three trains. Yeah, so we'll head over there and we'll uh, go and join the line for Wicker Man. Look at me, I'm talking American. Oh, no, you are. Join the no, line, I'm join the queue cute. line. <laughs> Literally, we spent a month in America. I'm talking American. Where's the gas station? Oh, there's a trash can over there. <laughs> Here we are then down at Wicker Man and yeah it says 35 minutes on the board however that is definitely not a 35 minute wait unless the operations were absolutely outstanding and there was no fast track. So as you can see it's all the way out here yeah it's definitely more than 35. I think we'll probably come back later on and head on Wicker Man yeah because it's all out here. I reckon that's going to get updated literally. I reckon that's why the member of staff's on the phone. Yeah literally in a couple of seconds I'll probably jump up to about 50 to 60 because yeah it's quite a wait that is. Here it is, Wicker Man. We'll definitely have a ride on there though today. Yeah, maybe because the smile is closed, a lot of people have just kind of piled down here. Just going to give it a go. Yeah, it's going to be updated any second. Oh, I'll tell you what, we know this part too well. There you go, just jumped up to 60 minutes as soon as we were walking off. Yeah, we'll come back later. Oh, I do love summer at Alton Towers. All the trees look amazing. All the planting around the park as well. And yeah, look at the Katanga Canyon sign just here. All these trees, that's amazing in the summer and I tell you what I'm looking forward to seeing just up here the return the grand return of the Congo River Rapids waterfalls yeah not just these waterfalls down here as we walk up the main event back on after all this time so yeah let's go and have a look oh, I'll tell you what viewers I have missed this sound just here as soon as you walk around the corner you can just hear them crashing down into the water listen to that the waterfalls are back on the Congo River Rapids really good to see Look at that, we'll get a better view around the other side as well. It's a really good sight to see. These have been off for many years, so it's so nice to have them back. adds so much energy to Katanga Canyon and of course makes the ride quite a bit more exciting as well. Let's have a look around the other side. Hey! Three ball all wide on YouTube! This is what I want to see, look at this. Brilliant angle of the waterfalls there back on the Congo River Rapids. Fantastic to see. Yeah, they've actually got a staff member just at the side there now. There's a couple. Yeah, when we walked past the other day, there was just one. So yeah, they clearly need to have a staff member there just to make sure, of course, that everyone's remaining seated. Really important to stay in your seat on the ride. But yeah, it's nice to have these back. It really is. And like I say, it's not just about the added ride experience with the barn. It's just the energy of this pathway. People standing down here again, looking at them. Hearing them again as you're walking up, fantastic. <laughs> 30 minute advertised wait then for the Congo River Rapids. And yeah, normally I'd be like, oh, I'm not waiting that long, but because the waterfalls are back, we'll do it. Yeah, let's head down here. And that's the thing, without the waterfalls, it was probably worth a baby a 10, 15 minute wait. 
Yeah, I think 30 is more than worth it now for those being back. It's not like they soak your loads or anything, which I'm sure Charlotte's happy oh, about. about <laughs> it's more just the effect. And you get a little sprinkle going past. No, no, but it's nicer to have them, like I say. Let's go and give it a ride. Congo. <laughs> Just on our ride there on the Congo River Rapids for the first time with the waterfalls in quite a few years. Look at this! I've ever got on the rapids. Oh, look at that. There you go. On the Fantastic. That's what we like to see. It's a nice hot day, though, Charlotte. Should have gone for shorts actually today. It's really quite warm, isn't it? But I tell you what, isn't it great to see them back oh, on? Everyone was loving it. Even coming from Charlotte here, from the water rides. Well, it's just, it was a bit bland before, wasn't it? Without it was very bland. It. So it's glad to see them back. Yeah, hundred percent. Now I'm really pleased they made the decision to get them turned back on again. And yeah, we thought they were probably never going to return. So I'm really pleased that they have done. Just add to the atmosphere. And I've got to say, Katanga Canyon in general this year is great. All these new speakers they put in, like this audio. <laughs> A few new props around as well. They've actually put some barrels with the Congo River Rapids logo on in the queue line. Just little things. Music, it's great. This is the refresh that we need to see down in Dark Forest now. And also the Smiler, which also isn't looking great. Of course, we'll head down to X Hector later on this afternoon. We'll have a look over at the Runaway Mine Train. And of course, have a ride on the Curse at Alton Manor because there's been some effects updates. <laughs> Down here into the main part of Katanga Canyon. Oh, look at the queue for runaway mine train. Got all the extension out the front just here. I wonder if it's down the back as well. Interesting if so, because that's a big queue. Maybe 40 minutes or so if it's in the extension too, which it probably is. But yeah, look at this, all the temporary barriers out. I'd imagine again, that's because of the school trips midweek over the next couple of weeks. Like I say, Sundays tends to be the best day of the week to visit at the moment. And that'll be the case really throughout the summer. Leaving Katanga Canyon then now, making our way into the very atmospheric, gloomy wood. Good to see the smoke on just here as well. It was off last time we were here, but yeah, it's back on now. That's the thing, when you've got these effects, it just needs to be topped up. It just adds to the atmosphere when you walk down here, and especially when it's sunny, actually, because you just see the smoke even more, you know, shining down. Look at this. We love the curse at Alton Manor, and yes, they have made a couple of changes inside, which we're going to talk about in this video of course when we come off even though it's a dark ride it's a shame we can't film on there i don't know why they don't allow filming on the dark ride it does seem a little bit silly to me uh, especially when a lot of people uh, obviously do get the phones out to try and record and then they have to play the announcements or come over the pa system to say put your phones away but yeah just take away from the experience for people so yeah with it being a dark ride they should allow filming in my opinion but still they don't and it is what it is but yeah here we are out the front beautiful attraction Hey, how you doing? Think about the wine on YouTube, right? Hey, uh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> yeah, let's go and join the queue. I say join the queue, literally. We're straight into the pre show. Let's go. The curse at Alton Manor, Nuva 2023. Poor Eliza Shaw. One so pretty, alas, no more. My favourite one's definitely up here, though. I think you know which one's coming up, don't you? It's Charlotte. <laughs> I do love the gravestones. I just love that mood when you join this queue line. Like just everything about it. The Alton family. Charlotte lies <laughs> surprised. Oh, Charlotte. Oh. Beneath this stone. <laughs> right, let's go and have our ride. Like I said, we can't film on the ride itself, but we'll talk about some updates afterwards. Let's go and ride. The curse at Alton Manor. Yes. 
natural proportions, all known occupants of the house perished. That is, aside from the owner's only child, Emily. Great getting back inside Alter Manor and of course seeing Emily herself just there. Very creepy girl. <laughs> but yeah, before we talk about the upgrades that they've made, in fact a big new effect's gone inside as well. So we'll talk about that in just a second. First, let's have a little look in the shop. Yeah, there is. Love this face down here. Inside the shop just here. Of course, attic of antiquities. Yes, yeah, so you've got a lot of more generic things over here. However, we've got some new bits with Alton Manor on as well, so let's go and have a look. Now, of course, you've got the mugs here that have been in for quite a while. Started to show you those again. They're eight pounds. You've got some new additions over here, including this. Look at this key, 15 pounds. I tell you what, that is fantastic. Love that. It's got the towers on just there as well. Emily and the kind of logo at the top just there. Yeah, that is a fantastic piece. What do you think of that, Charlotte? That's really nice. It's yeah. really good quality. Yeah, it's a bit like the ride resins, isn't it, really? We have 15 pounds. And for £10, you've got these just up here as well, the medals. You know, they actually change when you move it side to side, which is good to see. Yeah, I'm glad they've made a few upgrades, should we say, to some of the merchandise. I was a bit disappointed when it was just like the small mug. Uh, there's some other nice bits now, which is good to see. And of course, this mug, which came in a little bit later. Yeah, that's a really good one. I do like that. That's a heat one as well, so when you put hot water in, it comes up with like a different ah, effect. Ah, a bit like the actual UV yeah. effect in, in the ride itself. So that will go purple. Ah, that's good to that's say. Cool. Yeah, these are quite nice as well. Just here. Um... Of course, lots of other bits of clothing. Just here too. But yeah, let's stand outside and we'll talk a bit more about the changes that have been made inside the ride. I think every time we come here to Alton Towers, we have to go for two rides on the Curse Alton Manor. As soon as we come out, we're straight back round, oh, aren't we? we absolutely love it. We've got to have two rides at a time. <laughs> and the good thing is as well, it's got a great throughput. In fact, it's got one of the highest throughputs in the whole park. And that's why it normally doesn't have much of a wait. And even if it does, maybe 10, 15 minutes, it moves so fast, doesn't it, with how many cars Which it runs. Which is just fantastic to see. It's such high capacity. It's exactly what the park needed. Now, of course, since the ride opened back in March this year, um, they've been making lots of different tweaks and changes, like sound effects, lighting changing the timing that's something that they've done a lot of however they've now added a brand new effect and that's located in the garden scene isn't it yeah, it's like a lightning bolt it's absolutely fantastic it really adds to the experience it does because you come around that corner uh, and then straight away you've kind of got the the horses in front like the horse and carriage and yeah, it's a big lightning bolt above there just, just by the pepper's ghost of emily that there is i think that's an absolutely brilliant effect and yeah it's not a projection by the looks of it it's actually a prop what they've put into place and every time a ride vehicle comes near to it it goes off as well so you normally see it a couple of times because obviously the ride vehicles are quite close in Alton Manor so you've got the one in front it'll activate for them and then you get it when it comes yeah, past. Yeah it's quite bright as well we really like it. Yeah fantastic along with that I don't think I've mentioned this but this has been in for a couple of months now but there's a laser just before the Trommel Tunnel um, just after Emily does a thing about time to die you know you've got the lightning bolt um, you've got like a laser effect there which is good doing another lightning bolt and along with that there's general upgrades and changes. I tell you what the effects are pretty reliable oh, in there. Oh they are it's fantastic we just absolutely love it. Yeah and the good thing is Alton Towers has been really good with keeping up to date with the effects. I just hope that continues I for the long so. term because um, there's a lot that can go wrong effects wise uh, but it's nice because I know for a fact when the Trommel Tunnel's not working they actually close the ride until it's fixed um, which is good because it means people going on there for the first time are always going to get the full experience. Which is really good. Definitely. But now love Curse Alton mm. Manor. Let us know your thoughts of course down below in the video comments and yeah hopefully we'll have another awesome dark ride back open later oh, in the 
yeah, yeah. So. We're missing Hex so much, but we have got Nemesis Subterra. We have! Let's go and give that a go. Well, it's been about six weeks since Nemesis Subterra reopened here at Alton Towers, and it's certainly been very popular. In fact, I saw on the queue times, it was actually an hour at one point. I certainly wouldn't want to wait an hour for it. However, I think anything under 30 minutes um, is well worth it for Subterra, in and my it's opinion. 25, so we're going to give it a go. Yeah, definitely. Of course, this is the park's underground set of four drop towers. And yeah, it's a great experience. But like I say, I wouldn't want to wait uh, more than 30, 40 maximum. For this i think if you wait longer than that you probably would be disappointed but yeah i do like the sign down here now of course it was just a flat temporary one when it reopened but yeah you've got the proper embossed sign which does look fantastic and worth pointing out it has still got the older Welcome nemesis logo on there research facility. so is that a sign that of course nemesis is going to come back with the similar logo to how it was before it closed we'll uh, see what happens but yeah 25 minutes for subterra and that's a pretty good wait time and that's what it should be a filler ride you know a set of four drop towers it's effectively a flat ride as much as it's a dark ride so yeah, i think 25 um, is a good wait time anything under 30 minutes well worth it and in fact i don't even think it's going to be that it's literally just is that it just there yeah <laughs> yeah it is yeah it's literally just here around this final bit let's give it a go nemi sub terror and of course you've got the observation platform down here and some great views looking over the Nemesis construction site and yeah we did film an update only a couple of days ago um, action packed update showing you all the new trap that's gone into place the supports and also the latest deliveries on the car park so yeah check that out full dedicated Nemesis updates here on Theme Park Worldwide Alex Research Facility you are now entering a restricted military area Falling's operatives will ensure your security at all times Literally waited five minutes and bags are going into the baggage hold. So we'll see when we come off. Oh, it's so nice having Nemesis Subterra back. I can't believe we only waited five minutes as well. I can't believe it. I really enjoy Subterra. I like seeing people's reactions throughout the ride. That's one of my favourite parts on there, watching other people's reactions to it all. It's so scared there, but as I showed it, it's quite scary. It is. I can see why it's a 1.4 height restriction and a minimum age of 12. It needs it's to be, doesn't scary. it? Parts. even i get a bit scared <laughs> yeah going down of course in the lift at the start then you all sit there uh, facing each other on the four drop towers you can see up to 40 people it can be quite restricted though so bear that in mind uh, they are warning people of that though um down there in the pre-show entrance and then of course yeah um you drop down you've got all the eggs and then you lift back up and head into an elevator um it goes wrong and that's the bit what really scares people it's noisy the sound effects the smoke so it's, it's crazy so going on in it's, it's a great experience I ride really like it. it's so nice to have it back open it like is. i said so you don't want to be waiting more than 30 minutes for it in my opinion um, but yeah if you're waiting less than that fantastic great attraction i tell you what they've also added a few of these guest services hubs around the park we noticed one earlier on down by um, on the pathway between spinball wizard and x sector uh, another one in dark forest and there's one here too so yeah these do accessibility ticket sales and just general guest inquiries as well so yeah worth pointing out that they've added a few of those in while well, it's still going here in Forbidden Valley, the blade just over there, of course, the swinging ship. And yeah, I keep losing track which size the entrance is on. I think it's back on that side now. When they moved the construction for Nemesis um, over onto this side, they put the entrance off to the right. So it's technically got two entrances it at the keeps moment. It's moving all the time. Yeah, I keep losing track, I do, which side it's on. But so, uh, yeah, we're going to head down towards Galactica. Advertised wait of 20 minutes, but we've not been on it, of course, since more of the Nemesis track went in. And as much as we can't film on there, um, we can get some great views and tell you what it's like. Yeah, and I think it's well worth going on Galactica now to get some more views looking at the Nemesis construction. But yeah, when they move the construction again onto this side, um, it'll be open here again. So, yeah. <laughs> confused at the moment but yeah one time it's there other times it's here on this side and of course it is still the third year of the retro squad here at Alton Towers and yeah you know our thoughts on these by now definitely time for them to go to be honest don't even ride them anymore um, they had a bit of capacity to the park um, that's about all but yeah they really need to look at them permanent replacements but you all know our thoughts on that by now let's hope that um, they can sort something out at least down here in Forbidden Valley for next year I mean they've had three years now they've had long enough to get the issues resolved uh, when it comes to park capacity and that's the thing we've really noticed being back here at Alton Towers today especially compared to our America trip um, obviously you go over there there's so many rides in a park it's packed full of attractions and that's something that you know Alton Towers really needs they just need more filler rides don't they yeah, really they really do like on the trip we was walking there'd be a ride here there'd be a ride there you can walk a long time without anything being there yeah definitely so they need to look at uh, filler rides 100% but yeah let's go and have a ride down here 
over on Galactica. And again, it's going to be interesting to see if any changes are made to this. I mean, uh, with the whole area having a bit of a refresh for uh, Nemesis next year, uh, it'll be interesting to see if they change anything with Galactica. I'd like to see them retheme it personally, um, but we'll see what happens. I mean, I don't know if there's going to be budgets there or not for that. I mean, the respect of fortune on Nemesis. Uh, we've got, of course, Secret Weapon 9 coming up for 2025. Maybe they won't want to do anything with Galactica yet, but I'd like to see them make some changes. Yeah, just gone up to 30 from 20, but still for a BM flying coaster, not too bad. Yeah, just a little bit further back here. Have they? Oh, we got a walk all out the top. Oh, I've not been up there for a few years. Oh, blimey, we'll get some good shots of the ride from up there. And there you go, there's a look at the track. You don't often see it from up here. Like I say, these extensions are open mainly for the school trips midweek. Yeah, you won't really be waiting up here on a weekend. Yeah, look at this, get some cracking views. Here it comes. Fantastic. It's a long way around here. Oh, it's a right track all the way down here, getting our steps in <laughs> here at Holton Towers today. Yeah, you get to see the turnaround section down here at the bottom that normally you can only really see from the car park unless when this big extension's open. Yeah, it's gonna have a ride. Galactica. Well, we've only been waiting 10 minutes so far, so pretty good operations. Two stations, three craft running. Well, yeah, look at this, looking very tired. All that's starting to peel off, all the sticker on the side. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if any changes are coming to Galactica for next year. Nemesis is going to look so fresh. The rest of Forbidden Valley is probably having some upgrades. Is Galactica just going to be left? I highly doubt it. I think they'll do something. What's also really interesting down here in the station is that all the theme lighting is actually turned off. And it's just the main station lights on. There are loads of the bulbs are broken. These. This reminds me of what happened last year with Jewel. They just kind of let it rot because they knew there was changes coming. So is this an early sign, an early indication of some changes down here? Always just being poorly looked after, I'm not too sure. But yeah, we'll see what happens come 2024. But yeah, at least need some refresh down here. Even if it's not having a refeed, some refresh definitely needed. Just 15 minutes there for our ride on Galactica. And you know what? Operations today on the rides have been great, haven't oh, it's they? It's been absolutely fantastic. Like, we didn't wait long for that at all. Yeah, literally at the end there, no stacking on the brakes. You know me with the BM flyers. Don't really like stacking on the brake run. Very uncomfortable. There it goes. Hey! And uh, yeah, with that straight in, which was fantastic. Yeah, 15 minute wait, which is brilliant. And uh, yeah, I've got to say, my love for that ride um, isn't that strong. However, it's nice to ride it at the moment and get some great views of Nemesis, isn't oh, it? Oh, the views of Nemesis is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, from on there, you can see more of the stall turn, of course, that went into place a couple of weeks ago whilst I was in America. Uh, and along with that, you can see the, net, the track section's in place just at the bottom of the vertical loop. Uh, of course, it's already over on the car park. You can see that in our latest Nemesis construction updates. So not long to go now uh, until that loop's going into place, I don't oh, think. Oh, it'll be so exciting when that goes in. Yeah, literally the bottom section's in. You can't see that from the observation platform, but you can, of course, from up there on Galactica. Yeah, it's looking very tired though, that it ride. Is. And parts of the track are looking really dirty, especially around the back. So it could do with a lot of work, a lot of TLC. I'd like to see them retheme it personally to fit more in with Forbidden Valley. However, if not, just some general TLC um, would be fantastic this winter because this looks so good next door with Nemesis. Um, the whole of the valley's getting a bit of a refresh. You can't have uh, this looking bad next year, and you certainly can't have a temporary fun fair ride opposite. <laughs> Now, as you all know, I'm big on the history and heritage of Alton Towers. It really has been a passion of mine for a long time. And even when I worked here, I used to do the history tours and I've always loved the gardens and the towers. Hence why I say that the towers are really important to get back open. Um, but yeah, the gardens, of course, always open down here and they're all beautiful. And yeah, it's good to see that the Pagoda Fountain's back in action there as well. Not seen it on yet this season. So yeah, it's really nice to see. We'd heard that it had broken, so they've obviously done the repair works that they needed to to get that in action, which is good. It's also great when you're on the sky ride going over the top because yeah, it feels like the fountain's going to hit the bottom of the gondola even though there's like well, probably 30, 40 feet in it. 
just feels like that way. I can't wait to see gondolas coming over the valley again here. Uh, it is really nice. It's just another ride, isn't it? As much as it's transportation, it's another ride for the park. It's more capacity. There can be, you know, a few hundred people on there at one time. Um, so I hope they can get the sky ride back open. I mean, we've just walked past somebody who was using the uh, navigation app Waze, literally, to take them from one side of the park to the other. Uh, literally using a sat-nav in the park uh, to move them to the side. Nice goat there for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, someone stuck googly eyes Oh, on no. I'm going to take that. Oh. oh. <laughs> And always love walking down by the conservatories just here as well. Absolutely gorgeous, they really are. Looks like they've actually pressure washed the pathway down here as well. It's looking very fresh. Obviously, quite a few years ago, this was all refurbished, all the glass repaired in there. They actually repainted it as well, which is fantastic to see. They still haven't found a permanent kind of use for this, which is a shame. Um, I always think a tea rooms would be the best option. Um, when they opened them during the COVID lockdown, and obviously the gardens were just open. Blimey, it feels like a lifetime ago now. Uh, but when they did that, um, then yeah, they had a garden centre just down the end here. Nice little idea, but obviously, you know, in the long term, that isn't really going to work out, is it? You know, and that closed shortly after. Um, yeah, tea rooms would be fantastic down here. Also, it's the perfect perfect wedding venue down here. I don't know why they don't get a wedding license and start doing them down here. Because uh, this is like your big aisle, you can have the seating down at the side. Um, it will be beautiful and it bring in a lot of money as well. Um, but yeah, it's very nice down here. I'd just like, hopefully, you know, like to see them um, do a bit more with it down here. I mean, they've spent the money restoring it. Tea rooms, coffee shop. Oh, I'd like a nice, nice tea room, have a nice slice of cake. It'd be lovely. Yeah, it'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? Nice Sit down nice. here with a Starbucks frappe, oh, would be perfect. On the bin. Look Whereabouts? Here. Can you see it? Oh, he's nice, isn't he? There. You know what? He's missing his ride. That's why. Sorry, squirrel Aww. nutty. It's been gone a long time. Oh no, he's going in the bin. He's off into the bin. How close can we get? <laughs> he's gone. That's it. Oh, uh, oh there oh, we go. I'll always remember. Funny fact for you, when I did work here, uh, like, I remember emptying a bin and a squirrel jumping out at me. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite funny that was. Oh, love it. Yeah, it's always a nice time walking around the gardens in the summer, seeing all the flowers as well. Beautiful. Garden's looking lovely and yeah, very nicely pruned as well, which is good to see. He made the desert smile. There you go. Charles Talbot himself. Beautiful. And back out of the wonderful gardens now, out the front of the Towers Ruins just here. And yeah, we're gonna make our way now down into X Sector. It's gonna get on some rides down there on this beautiful afternoon. I tell you what, I wish I put my shorts on. I'm sweating. I'm absolutely boiling today. <laughs> it's really, he said it was gonna be stormy, maybe oh, rainy, but. Yeah. Maybe sometimes when it does go hot, it does go stormy later on. It's very humid. So we'll but uh, yeah, there we go. It's just saying it's humid. We just come back from America. Uh, also, since we were last at this park, this view's opened up quite a bit because, yeah, there were some pretty big storms whilst we were over in the US. And yeah, unfortunately, this tree actually fell just here. I mean, look at this. I believe it got struck and then kind of on its side and then they had to take it down. Yeah, it's opened up the view quite a lot just here now, as we can see all the way across. Seems weird because you can see Spinball Wizard through the trees a lot better now that that's gone. I mean, always a shame when a tree does come down, but I'm sure they'll uh, plant a new one there or somewhere around here. But yeah, it was quite a big one. It's opened it up loads. And yeah, here's another one of those yeah, guest cool. services hubs just out the front here. Really like that. Like, I think that's a really nice little touch around the park. Just means that, you know, if you've got any queries, any questions, you can just go over and actually chat with someone instead of online, through social media or through an app. I think that's a really good move forward. I think the smile has just gone down again. Like, that's why we didn't come down here earlier, but yeah, maybe it's the heat, because it's definitely warmer than we're expecting. It doesn't normally have too many issues, though. But yeah, we'll go and check out Oblivion first, have a look at the retro squad rides, and then we'll uh, come back up to the Smiler. Probably do single rider on the Smiler, but it's more than worth it. If you don't mind not sitting with your party, it's worth doing single. And we've got a 10 minute oh, advertised wait. Oh, it just got up. There we go. Literally changed and we got rolling. Still worth it though for the one drop wonder. Still a great ride, Oblivion. Let's go and give it a go. Down here in X Sector. Always love that view of Oblivion's lift. Such a monster of a track, isn't it? Really thick track. Builds up the anticipation. What was the world's first vertical drop roller coaster? That when it opened in 
is there for oblivion as advertised. He did do that cheeky change from 10 to 20 when we walked in. All the times have been Alton Towers. I don't think I've ever caught that actually happening on the screen there. Um, but no, I do enjoy oblivion. It is a great ride. Of course, it hasn't got much to it other than the drop itself, but it was the first one, you know, so give it credit for that. Oh, I absolutely love oblivion. It's a must when you come to Alton Towers. I still think, you know, the force at the bottom of the drop on there is better than some of the bigger dive coasters. It really takes you by surprise when you go into the tunnel. I mean, on this trip we've just been on, we've done loads of dive coasters in America, but none of them have the drop what feels quite like Definitely oblivion. Not. I think it is the hole that does it, just dropping down into there, the forces, and you've got to think, um, it drops so far down underneath, it's actually a 180 foot drop in total, it doesn't look that from here, but obviously it goes so far underground, which is fantastic. In terms of the operations on there, uh, running six shuttles, which was fantastic, um, stacking a little bit, but you always do really, don't you, on oblivion? Yeah, on oblivion you always do. 20 minutes on a Sunday in July, not complaining about that. Well, the smile is back open now with a 40 minute advertised wait, but of course it has got the single rider. There's normally quite a lot less than that, so I think we're going to go for single. Uh, bear in mind, obviously only join that if you don't mind being separated up from your party. <laughs> and of course it is 10 years of the smile of this year. The ride opened in 2013. I can't believe it. 10 years. Where's it gone, Charlotte? The ride where we met during its construction. Oh, it's always special for us because of that. We also get some really good views of the coaster from in the queue line, especially down here making your way to single rider. Love this angle. Let's give it a go. Secret weapon seven. All the way to the top of the stairs, yeah, there's about six people waiting. But we take five to ten minutes maximum. Let's go have a ride. We'll see when we come on. Just five minutes in the single rider queue for our ride there on the Smiler. Definitely worth doing that single rider. We skipped a 40 minute wait there, which was fantastic. Yeah, here's a little look at the ride in action for you all here. I do love the interaction on the Smiler. Especially when you get a bit of tooling going on, which we're lucky to have on our ride just, which was great. How was your ride, Charlotte? I ride the first half, but then I find the second half, which are two versions at the end, it's just so uncomfortable on your shoulders, then pull the screws off. Yeah, it depends where you sit as well, doesn't yeah, it? I suppose it does. I was in row three and I just felt on my shoulders. I was on row two. Same train, just waved yeah, at you. <laughs> and yeah, as you mentioned previously, it really needs some TLC. This, Galactica and 13 all need some major TLC at the moment. And this fence, Definitely some TLC down here. Um, yeah, uh, actually a, a bin lorry came down here earlier on. We saw a photo and literally crashed into the side. So they've just buried it off. And yeah, uh, there you go. That's the damage from the, uh, from the bin truck. To be honest, I'm surprised they haven't got a member of staff here just stopping anybody from, you know, pushing on that fence. I would have certainly done that myself. Um, but yeah, there's a look at it anyway. I mean, it has got the protection around the top there, so it shouldn't fall in or anything. But um, yeah, as you can see, yeah, the uh, bin truck's got in there. So hopefully we'll get that fixed very soon. Over here at the Smiler. And yeah, in terms of the retro squad down here, you've got Twistertron. It looks like it's having a few technical issues there at the moment. Doesn't surprise me though, because these funfair rides haven't been the most reliable. And you got Spin Jam just off to the left over there too. But yeah, I rarely go on these to be honest now. Do take away from the experience for me. Oh, I love all the Alton Towers wildlife. They're a lot of the nice, aren't they? I love them, and then we've got George leading them at the front. I tell you what, the babies have grown loads, haven't oh, they? I know, they are. Cool. so cute. <laughs> Can't believe this. Bert's here as well, Bert oh, the Seagull. <laughs> right, we're going to have a look in Towers Trading now, see if there's any new merchandise since last time we are here at the resort. Of course, you've got CBeebies lined off to the left. We're not going to head through there today. However, we did a full CBeebies line tour just over a month ago before we went over to the USA. So make sure you check that out if you haven't already seen it. Yeah, that's what crashed down into the uh, outside of the Smiler's fence. It was one of them bin trucks. We saw the photo, didn't we? Hopefully they can get that sorted out. <laughs> yeah, it's going to look into how it's traded. 
Now, of course, we did a full merchandise tour of Alton Towers back near the start of the season where we went round all the shops. Yeah, let's have a look round and see if there's anything new. I do love these mugs though that are new for this year. These are very nice. They're priced at £12, and yeah, it's got the embossed Alton Towers logo on the front and the smaller ones on the side as well. Yeah, I definitely prefer these mugs to these ones. I really don't like the set oh, of four so inside there. I just think they look a bit plain, a bit bland. I really like them when they're on sale. There you go, get them gone, get the proper ones in. <laughs> oh, here we go, what we got over here, shall we? New Wicker Man water bottles. Yeah, they're quite nice, aren't they? Yeah, I like those. 15 pounds? They look a little bit like uh, cocktail yeah, shakers, like, don't they? Yeah, there you go. Charlotte's Bar. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, these are the sort of mugs I like, I like look at them. that. Embossed with all the fire at the bottom. And that's the thing, like you realise how good the merchandise is at Merlin Parks as well. <laughs> Like they do some of the best merch, don't they? Really good. Yeah, quite nice they are. And yeah, they got some of those for the smiler just over here as well. Of course, black and yellow, and then the logo there in the middle too. I think I'd have preferred it if the logo was just on the black. I think I it would have shown up better. So you can kind of see like the, the join just there as well. I'm not really a big big fan of that, how it goes across. But yeah, of course you've got these bags. I'm not too sure if they were in it when we did the merch tour or I think not. I've seen these before. Can't remember now. They are new ish though, aren't they? These? Quite a good size. There's no price on them. Yeah. Oh, they are 15 pounds. 15, that's alright, that is. Yeah, Small little good. theme park bag. Yeah, pretty good. And of course, you can also get all your Phalanx merchandise and Nemesis Subterra merch down in here as well. Bit basic, the mug. I've actually got one back in the museum at home from when Subterra originally opened in 2012, like a really big embossed one. Um, but yeah, that's definitely better than the one that they've got here. The Phalanx one there too. We've got some lanyards and some keyrings as well. Yeah, I'd imagine we're going to be seeing a lot of new Nemesis yeah. merch for next year. Uh, they're going to need a new shop to put it all in down there in Forbidden Valley. Yeah, look at this. Subterra on just there too. Yeah, quite nice. I'm not liking these black clouds coming over. <laughs> We've got about 90 minutes to go until ride close, six o'clock. It makes a big difference actually having ride close at six instead of five. That full hour really does go a long way. And because the location of Alton Tower is pretty much in the middle of nowhere, a lot of people do start leaving as well, which means if you are staying until the end, then yeah, you're gonna get lots of rides in. And make the most of it. Yeah, we've got a 35 minute advertised wait for Spinball Wizard. Let's go and have a go. Mara Spinner. We knew the sky looked quite dark. We was about 15 minutes from getting on Spinball Wizard and there was a massive bolt of lightning and a huge crack of thunder right over the park, wasn't there? Yeah, it was quite surprising, really. It was a massive bolt of lightning. It's like what we saw on the America yeah, trip, really, it wasn't was it? so close. But yeah, literally. And then it hammered it down for about five minutes and it stopped now. Of course, the ride was east up just over here, so they're just safely evacuating Spinball now. There's 55 minutes to go until ride closed, uh, but I don't know if we're going to get Wicker Man in or not now today. A lot of stuff Closed, yeah, safety of course is always paramount, but it came in very quick that did. It did very fast. Yeah, I couldn't believe that, but uh, yeah, 10 minutes ago we were waiting in line, and now it's just gone down, of course, they'll clip everybody on safely and uh, get them down there. Now it seems like it wasn't actually an emergency stop there on Spinball Wizard. Seems like it was a power cut that actually happened. Because as you can see, the other rides are stopped with people on, such as Battle Galleons over there. The boats um, are just out here to the side. The same with Wicker Man that's on the lift hill. So yeah, it's probably the end of our day today here at Alton Towers. But of course, all the staff are trained and know exactly what to do when a situation like this occurs. And yeah, the sky was a bit dark, but it looked like it was just going to be rain and not really a big storm. So yeah, there was a massive um, bolt of light. And yeah, there was some more just over there. It was literally like being back in America, wasn't it? When we was on the, on the road trip. But there we go, extreme weather. Yeah, it's probably the end of our day. But yeah, we're just going to uh, wait around and just see what happens now and see if anything else does open. Because uh, you never know. Uh, there is 55 minutes to go until park closed. But yeah, that's probably going to be the end. I think the power is back on now. Um, but like I say, all the staff are trained to deal with this sort of thing. And it can happen very rarely, but it can happen sometimes. Look at this. Sun's starting to come out now. The storm just came in for a little bit, caused the issues, and then now the sun's come out. Yeah, there was a train stops on the lift hill for Wicker Man there as well, but that's the thing, all staff are trained to deal with situations like this. And yeah, safely escorting them down, staff members for every two people, evacuating them there from the lift hill. And getting a very exclusive lift hill walk, something that Alton Towers don't offer anymore. They used to on some of the rides. Well, there you go, walking down the lift hill there, safely escorted down. Down here at Wicker Man. We'll have to come back another day for our ride.
on Wicked Us Tear. Well, we're outside the park then now, down by the hotels. And yeah, the other big rides didn't reopen. So we had another ride on Alton Manor, didn't we? Oh, we love Alton Manor. Oh, shame we didn't get on Wicker Man today, but we are at our local park after all. We can come and ride it another day, can't we? We get on can. There. I do love Wicker Man, but these things happen. Yeah, that's the thing. And all ride staff are trained to deal with these sort of situations. I just can't believe how quick it came in, that storm. I cannot believe it. We was watching it and we was like, oh, it's going to be coming in soon. And then it was just here. Yeah, we wasn't really expecting it to be a lightning storm. No. It said just rain. You know, it didn't say storm. So it kind of came out of the middle of nowhere that did um as we wouldn't have even joined the the cuba spin ball with them would we you and know the thunder was so loud oh it was wasn't it but uh, overall we've had a really good day here at alton towers i've got to say operations have been fantastic have. today uh, they've been getting the train sent out really quick on the coasters especially um over on 13 i was very impressed with that rita was good this morning as well um in general operations have been really good across the park i think for me the biggest issue at the moment is the sky ride being closed of course hex is a big issue as well um because we love that attraction and many people do but I still think the sky ride is the bigger issue because of the size of the park They really need to get that open ASAP don't they? I think they? it is with the sky ride That's like a main like transport line for people getting around and if you've got like a mobility scooter or anything like that Even like push chairs getting around can be quite difficult and in a big park like Alton Towers as well They really need to get that back open soon But yeah overall it's been a really good day We've had loads of rides and like I say Sunday is like the day to come now really um, And throughout the summer holidays even Sundays tends to be a good day for visiting uh, Like I say if you are coming over the next couple of weeks in midweek time it will be busier so expect that however get here early before all the school trips do and also stay until the end it's six o'clock all the way through now school trips leave normally about four o'clock so it don't gets they? quite quiet for the last few hours of the day yeah and of course like i say six o'clock ride closed now all the way through um until start of september of course when the kids go back um after the summer holidays but so we'll be back with more alton towers updates for you looks like there's going to be some entertainment coming to that stage soon as well um so yeah we'll see what happens with that and of course bringing the updates you're right there. i'm getting like dripped, on. dripped on by this tree just <laughs> down here by the uh, by the monorail station but uh yeah it's been a fantastic day really enjoyed it and of course check out the nemesis update if you haven't already seen it from a few days ago and of course the full cbb's land tour that we did here as well but from the alton towers resort that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out, out there, there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding see you in the next video